Hello, this is George from LTS Security Australia and today we're going to show you how to register a Ajax Pro account for Ajax Pro Desktop and um, synchronize that to the services which is what Ajax use for their SIM card and cloud services. So we've downloaded the Ajax Pro Desktop on our computer and here we're going to create a Pro account. So just click on click a pro, create a Pro account you want to enter your name here we'll just put in a demonstration name just for um, this demo purpose and uh, so you've got to fill out your your first name and your last name then um, you've got to put in your email address so we'll just use one of our standard emails for this test purpose um, and you also need to put in your mobile phone number that you're going to link the account to. So make sure you select Australia. So I've just got to get in the list. 61 for Australia. Make sure you don't select Christmas Island. <laughs> then you need to put in a password, alphanumeric. I believe it needs to be six symbols minimum with upper uppercase and lowercase digits and a special character. Make sure you click on Agree, click on Next. Then what it's going to do is send you an SMS code to the mobile phone, so make sure you check your phone. And it's a double verification, so you'll also get a code on the email that you set up to make sure that it's extra secure. So we're just getting that now. And the code for the email that's come through, just make sure you check your junk mail in case it's gone to junk. Here's the email. So just quickly copy and paste that in and if you didn't get the code you can also resend it press continue and that's it now we've got an account set up in the pro desktop up the top right you'll notice that's your um, a company that you've created your installer so it's that's the demo LTS installer that we've created <clears throat> the next thing you've also got to do is create a company so um, to have the services, you need to have a company created. So we just created an installer account. Now we'll create a company. So we'll just call it Demo Test LTS. And um, we've also got to select the country of service. So this is Australia. Now you'll be given two options. One is the alarm monitoring um, and the other one is installation and maintenance. The one that we're going to select is installation and maintenance because that's the main functions we're going to need it for. If you're an alarm monitoring company, then you would select the other option for alarm monitoring. You can select, if you want to have a look at both of them, you can always select both. Um, but for now, we're just going to do installation and maintenance. So um, basically, the alarm monitoring, you can monitor your customers' accounts, you know, if, if that's the service that you provide. Uh, but since this is just for installation, uh, we'll just select installation and maintenance. So then you've got to fill out your company, your main company email. This is, um, this is what's going to appear on the customer's end as well. So in their Ajax app, they'll see you as the installer and they'll have your details so if they need to contact you um, you've got to put the full director's name of the company so just need to fill that out we can just use something as a dummy for this demonstration so we'll put test director you can put some more information about the company and um, you need to link a mobile phone number as well so we'll just use the same number actually we'll just put in a dummy number for now and the region of service we'll just put in there Sydney and you've got to select I agree and then you create the company 
So it's going to also send you another verification code. So just copy that across from the email and paste that in. Press confirm. And that's it. The company is being created. Okay, so we've just logged back in. Um, so if you have any problems, just log out and log back in and it will refresh. Um, you can see up the top left, there's journal, objects, and company. Um, the journal shows the log of all the signing and sign outs and information about the system. Uh, you've got your objects where you put your devices and then the company's information about the company. The area we're interested in is services, service settings. This is where we're going to need to activate the SIM card. Um, and you can see on the top right, we want to select, um, if you're going to use the installer, then and you want to add a space, you can do that through the installer. But we want to make sure we select the company that we're uh, registering. And um, you go to company, services and settings. Uh, you can see all the information about your company ID, your email. You can change these later by clicking edit. Um, we can include your address and public information. So highly recommend you can change and add installers and employees and set their um, their authentication of what they can control. Um, you've got you know your company owner and then your installers. So it gives you a summary of all the people in your business and you can add an employee by uh, putting in the email address of the employee, which they need to register a Ajax account with the Pro, Def Pro app and then um, you can add them in here. So this is all done through the company, um, not the installer. So you wanna make sure you do everything under your company because that's the one that has all the strength um, for administration. So we go to service settings and um, you'll notice in um, the service settings tab under company, there's the alarm monitoring. That's if you're an alarm monitoring company um, or if you wanna link that to an alarm monitoring person uh, or company that's in another area, but we'll, we won't worry about that right now. We just want to show you how to activate this, the services. So you'll notice just further down, it says Ajax uh, extra Ajax services not activated. So we need to click on this and press on next. And this is where you need to full, fill in it, your legal company name. So make sure that all is correct. We'll just use a dummy one for now. It's in US dollars, uh, don't worry about that. You're going to be billed in Aussie dollars. Uh, but because Ajax deals in US dollars, it, it won't give you another um, option to change uh, that. And here you want to put in the email for all the services. So whoever is managing the SIM cards, you want to put in the email. If you have a different email for that, uh, we'll just put in our standard email. You want to put in the contact person who's responsible for that and um, your billing address. So this is your accounts information of the company because that's who it's going to be billed to um, in the future. So we'll just fill in this quickly. Your country. Your postcode. Oh, put Pecos down in the bottom. And the region. And then you press activate. So after you press activate, it's automatically logged you out. You've just got to log back in. And um, we'll just copy and paste the password. Uh, we'll just put it in. So put in your password again and then press log in. And after you log in, you'll notice up the top, there's now a star with services. So now you can click on services. It gives you a bit of a welcome um, to the services tab. So you just press next, next, and next, and that's start. So now what we need to do is link a distributor. So LTS is a provider of the service um, and we're listed. There's other companies in the list as well that are distributors. So you can select multiple. Um, and um, well, for now, we'll just make sure we select LTS as the company provide the service um, then you're going to send a request after you send a request we get an email um, to accept um, the request so you need to wait for us to accept the request to manage your services 
because we're going to be billing you. So um, make sure you reach out to us if you haven't heard back from us. Um, so we'll just select LTS Security Australia and um, then we will activate that. So we'll send a request. And while you're waiting, I mean, you can also give us a call. Um, you'll see it come up and it's waiting for approval. So if you need to get this done urgently, make sure you give us a call on our, our contact details are on our website if you don't have them, but it's also, it should be here on the, on the right hand side. Um, or you can send us an email and uh, we'll approve that request. After you do that, then you'll be able to um, activate the service under your hub. So we'll show that in the next step. Okay, so just for demonstration purposes, we've logged into another account that we have pre-set up with a device, which is our other demo company. In this device, we do have an object, which is the Hub BP, that's currently online. And um, what will happen is after you get authorization from your distributor, you'll notice it will come up here as it no longer needs authentication, it's gone. So now you're active and you will get an email to notify you that uh, you have access to these services. So if, um, if it doesn't show, just make sure you log out and log back in. And um, you can see here your distributors and um, your dashboard. So in our dashboard, we currently have three SIM cards set. At the moment, you can't click into these further than that. Um, it just shows you a summary of how many SIM cards are active. At the moment, we've got two data SIM cards active, and we've also got one cloud um, account active, which is for the doorbell. So Ajax do have their cloud services, which is also coming out, and we'll have that available for um, you guys very soon. It gives you a total accounts summary, paid accounts, and there's also a free trial. Um, we don't have any information on the free trial at this stage, but um, you can see it there. Now, to show you how to activate the um, SIM card, you need to go to your object. So at the moment, our account, we've got monitoring enabled. That's why you see the monitoring icon up here. And um, you've got the other icons, which you can probably see on your side if you haven't activated monitoring. Um, so we'll just go to objects. <clears throat> and under objects, if you click back, it goes to this um, site. So this might look a little bit different for you if you don't have the monitoring thing active, um, but we'll just go to objects and we'll click on the hub. So this is our hub BP, which we are testing. And you can see we've got a number of devices connected like this below. Um, you can see on the hub BP, there is a little one, which means this sensor has some sort of problem. We probably don't have the uh, back plate attached, so it's in a tamper mode. Um, on the right hand side, you'll notice the services are activated. So we've already activated this service. Um, you can see the cellular strength just below it. So if we click on this, you'll have this and um, it will say inactive or deactivated. So you need to click on that and there'll be a, an option to activate so if we, at the moment we've got it active, we just want to click manage the service. Um, so we can choose to deactivate or stop now. If you deactivate the service, um, if it's not the end of the month, you'll still be able to use the service until the end of the month because they're billed monthly. Um, so if you do deactivate it before the end of the month, you still will get billed for a full month uh, and you can still use the service until the end of the month. If you want to stop it immediately, and if you want to use the SIM card in another device, we recommend you press stop now. And that will stop the service completely and it will no longer have any communications with the SIM card. Then you can take it out, put it into another hub and you can use it through the other hub. Uh, but as soon as you click on activate, you should see this come up as activated. Um, an email will also go out to us to um, to so to tell us that the service is active, um, and um, and we'll get a notification if there's any deactivations as well. 
And uh, if you have any problems, please feel free to reach out to us so we can help you. But um, it's pretty straightforward. The main thing that you need to make sure is if you have not in, uh, set up a company, you have to set up a company um, to have this services active and to link your company to a, um, a distributor. Now, if you have set up only an employee or a personal account for your pro desktop, you cannot link your personal account to um, the services. You have to have a company. So if you've done it the other way around, you need to reconfigure the, the system and you need to create a company and then you need to link the installer to that company. So um, at the moment, this installer has access to all three of these hubs um, and they can manage the site. Oh, they can't manage the site on this one, so they don't have authorization to that service. So you need to make sure that you've given them the, the right access rights. Um, if you want to know whereabouts that is, it is under the company icon and under that you've got access rights so um, your installer if um, you have an installer you want to give them the full rights this is where you have to select all the rights um, and if you've got a head of installer which has more power than an installer and then you've got your company owner um, so if you need to invite um, someone in so if someone's not linked to your account and you want them to have um, those credentials you first give them the kind of access rights you set up your access rights first and then up the top here you can see add employee and this is where you would type it type their email address of the Ajax Pro account that they have um, and then you tick which options you want them to, to, to basically have so you've got down here as well Ajax services manager um, if you want them to manage the services but um, that needs to be done through here. So and the Ajax services managers can um, access the uh, SIM card services for authorization. Um, and that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, if you need some more help or guidance or if you need us to help you set up this, we are happy to help. So please feel free to give us a call and um, and ask us or schedule in a time that we can assist you once again thank you very much for your time and i hope this video has been useful uh, feel free to uh, message us or email us if you have any more questions or if you need some help again this is george from lts and thanks for watching